everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. I am joining you with another partially done face. That means we're going to be trying some things on. You know, I've been playing with a lot of different holiday gift sets, trying to figure out what's good, what's maybe not worth your time and money. And I've realized I've rounded up several lately that come in under $30. Um, I've got a couple of lip balm sets, actually, and a few different palettes. And I thought I would discuss those today, kind of mini review them for you. So one thing we're going to put on the eyes, and I'll try on all the lip colors as well. So First off, before I get to the thing I'm gonna try on, a couple things I wanted to mention are these mini palettes. They're so cute. I mean, like, look at this one. This is called You're So Hot. I actually got this one from QVC. Got a few different holiday things from there that I didn't see anywhere else, at least at the time, and I just thought that's adorable. And then this is the Secret Santa, which is also super cute. These are little metal palettes, and I feel like sometimes these are the gems from Too Faced. The mini palettes they do can be really, really, good. Over the years, I've tried some awesome ones. That fruitcake palette that they did was so good. And I think the first one they ever made like this was a mini like peach palette. And it was amazing too. And it actually multitasked in like three or four different ways on the face. It was awesome. So I think whenever holiday stuff comes out, these minis are something you really want to look at. And I do feel like they're good quality. Let's focus first on the You're So Hot one. Um, here we have like three shimmers and one, two, three, four, five mattes. Uh, this shimmer right here, here I did find to be a little bit flaky. It didn't quite want to build up as well as say this one right here. This is one of those pinks with a golden shift. Um, the gold seems to be pretty strong as well, a true gold. And then you've just got a number of brown neutrals. Now this is a pretty common palette. You know, I look at this and I think, yeah, I got it because it looked really cute. It gives me the kind of look I like. I'm all for those classic browns. I think it looks beautiful, but it is pretty common. If you're trying to limit the amount of things you buy, and you're already a pretty big eyeshadow lover and user, there's a pretty good chance you've got what's happening here. And with eight shades in a palette, I really don't like to see even one shade that isn't quite performing up to par. So for me, I see this as skippable, but it is super cute. And again, I still say these small palettes are something you definitely want to like put on your radar around holiday time. Now let's talk about Secret Santa here. This one is, again, super cute with the packaging. I do love that. And when I purchased this, I remember thinking, wow, there's a lot of range in this one. This little eight shade palette goes all the way to a black. Um, we've also got some nice other essential mattes, you know, with this brown, this sort of interesting deep peach, or you could call that like a murky orange maybe. It's kind of medium warm beige is nice. All of these shimmers seem to be really soft and manageable. We've got a bronze, a really pretty ruby red, and then kind of a champagne, but when it's not hitting the light, it looks slightly richer. They did one of those, like, there's a hint of sparkle in it, but it really shows up overall matte in this dark brown. And I I do like this palette. If you're looking for a really small palette, a very compact palette that does give you super effective range, this could be good. I could even see me maybe using one or two of these um, shades in my brows. It's fun to have that splash of red outside of that. Yes, some of these shades are really basic, so if you're trying to not like overlap anything in your collection, I'm not saying it's the most groundbreaking palette, different palette ever, but in the interest of just being so small and compact and maybe you're thinking of gifting to somebody and you don't want to get them like a huge massive palette but you just like to throw something in that's fun this really is fun and it's very again well balanced um, in light to dark in the matte and shimmer textures and each and every one of them is a shade I'd want to wear so for that I do give this one the go-ahead I give it the thumbs up but I also do say not everyone may feel like they absolutely need it I don't always buy a lot from the Sephora collection during the holidays but there was a particular palette that really caught my eye on their website and I'm happy to say I have at home and so far what I've used from this has been amazing. It's their Wishing You palette. So it's got this cute little border of like holly berries and acorns and leaves and stuff. Sephora Collection loves the elastic band closures but then you open it up and I feel like it's actually a gorgeous selection of shades. It's really making me think of Stila so much. Like did Stila put out a particular palette that had this general vibe because that's immediately what I think of. I'll bring it in a little closer so you can see some of these finishes. Everything is workable. Everything is sensible, um, builds nicely. There's more matte than shimmer. The shimmers are one, two, three, four, 
uh, five, six. So that's six shades out of a 16 color palette. Um, and then just some beautiful mattes going from black to um, a couple different tones of brown. We've got some great mid-tones, a burgundy shade here. I did a look with this blue. Now, I don't know what it is about icy blues these days and just blues in general, particularly the navy blues and the icy blues. They are completely drawing me in. Like I'm loving the look. Let me show you the first look I did with this. In terms of the palettes I'm mentioning in this video, I I really feel this is the favorite. Just for value, for size, for amount, and then just consistency. Yeah, so I did a look with this and I popped the light blue on like the inner half of the lid. And you might think, well, do you get a lot of blue satisfaction out of that if there is no navy to pair it with or for that to fade into? Well, I had it just fade into the black and dark brown. And honestly, it kind of looks like it's going into navy because you've layered those two. The crease colors are just beautiful. Um, I'm loving loving it so much. So I'm going to go ahead and do a look with this today as I get ready because I want you to see yet another take on what this can do, okay? Kind of got my eye on this lavender or this matte lavender today. Um, but first off, I'm going to put some color in my crease. I'm going to go over here to this one. None of these shades are named, but this is kind of like a almost pinky beige. And I'm just going to pop that in the crease. I, I just feel like quality is so consistent in this palette. I feel like it would be highly giftable to someone. And there is a big old mirror right there. Like... Dang, Sephora. I gotta remember how much it is exactly. It's 20 bucks for this 16 pan beautifully packaged palette and Secret Santa from Too Faced is $9 more. Still like that little guy, but if we're talking value, this is clearly the better value. I'm just building that shade a little bit more. But they're smooth, they're pigmented, they don't kick up a whole lot of fallout. It's a nice formula for eyeshadow. Okay, then I'm thinking let's add to that crease a bit more. What do we want to do? Let's do a little bit of the brown right up here. Okay, same brush that I started with. Just deepening that crease ever so slightly. Okay, check it out, nice and easy. Okay, awesome. Now we're thinking, how about a little highlight? How about a little blurred edge? Go right down here to this matte cream. It's not like a full-on white. I'd say it's a little off-white. And blur that line. I just feel like this palette is a good merging of festive and classic, you know? Like someone could receive this and feel like, wow, I'm really set up for every day but yet there are some beautiful glitzy directions. I'm now gonna go to this dark brown right here, darker than that brown I just added to my crease, and I'm gonna pat this on the outer corner of my lid. It's so intense, but yet, as you'll find, it will blend. I really used a fair amount of this in the look where I blended in the blue. So as you see there, we're not only hitting the lid, we're getting the crease as well. And then I can go back to that crease brush. We always do this technique, but we do it because it works. And we just buff over. And suddenly that shade becomes completely part of the look, okay? That darkness is giving us a little bit of lift. Look at that really easy blending, but working with a very dark color. I might even say now, let's try a little bit of this peach that's up here. Just a little of that and come up high. Oh, that's gorgeous. Love that fade. I'm in that place where I'm feeling so satisfied working with nice quality mattes and just kind of layering them up adding to the look. It's so much fun. Then, like I said, I'm very curious about this matte lavender here. So I want to take that and put some of that right in here on the lid. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. Talk about understated but beautiful color. Like, that's a little pop. That's a little pinky lilac pop right there. Just fading onto those darker shades. It's really pigmented really opaque. See, I love little unexpected things like that. Having that in this palette, having the blue, also having this like cranberry, the peach, and then just look at this bottom row. 
cool smoky eye right there. You've got gray, just so many directions you can go. But I really like that look. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my look and I'm gonna come back and talk about these lip sets. All right, so here's a look at the finished eye. Um, I just popped on my Persona pencil liner in brown across the upper lash line. I'm wearing Superhero Mascara, Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water on the lower lashes. And then I did pop in a little bit of a light liner in the lower inner rim. That's from ABH. So now these lip sets, you guys, I really like them both. I would call them both like tinted lip balm sets. It's hard to pick an absolute favorite. I think there's one that I probably see myself just reaching for a little bit more. So this ultimate favorite is from Kosas and it's called the Lip Fuel Winter Warm Up Set. And the packaging is kind of cool. It's like in little pouches and if you wanted to give one of these, like as you can see I've ripped off the top part, but if you wanted to give these, you know, it's got your little lip balm down in there and then you could just snip it off and then they can tear off the top themselves. That's kind of fun. You know, almost a little refreshing to see a very minimal take on packaging around the holidays but you're getting three lip balms in there. One is Baseline, which is just a plain lip balm, and then you've got two different color tints. You're getting Flow and Rush. Fun fact, I have one of these. I think the shade is called Pulse, and by the way, these are all available in the regular line all the time. They are permanent shades in the Kosas lineup, but I have that one called Pulse, and because of the flat, really portable nature of these, I keep it in my little, like, this little bag I wear crossbody. It's like this big. It's super small, but I can manage to keep a lip balm in there and it's just kind of a rosy works with anything type of shade and I use it quite often I don't talk about it hardly ever but I do really like the formula it's a really comfortable tinted balm so they call these hyaluronic lip balms your shape is clearly a very like steep oval, right? It's not Easter egg oval. It's a very like squished down oval. And this will show more when I apply the colors, but I got a certain way I like to apply it. I go side to side on the bottom lip and then turn it vertically for the top lip and just go swipe and swipe and you can easily apply the colors with no mirror that way. There might be the teeniest hint of a minty scent, but it's so subtle. It's so barely there. Um, but who can't use just a classic colorless balm? This could be the before bed. This could be the loan it to the husband. I'm fine with there being a classic colorless balm in here. It feels really good perfect texture, um, less waxy than chapstick, thicker than a lip smacker. Definitely a high-end feeling balm. I'm dabbing that off and I'm going to show you both of these colors and I absolutely love both. Um, this one called Flow. Again, beautiful packaging, so streamlined. So we're going to go side to side on the bottom lip and then swipe and swipe vertically on the top lip. Side to side, immediate kind of toasty nude, and then swipe, swipe. Look at that. They're not incredibly shiny. I love that color though. Like doesn't my whole look immediately seem more polished even with just this nude tinted balm on? The pigmentation of the colored ones is really, really great. I just love it. Is Neutrogena still making their little tinted lip balms that were shaped like this? Because it's really a brilliant shape for tinted balm. Okay, now we're gonna blot that off. And I'll show you this shade called Rush. So this is in the rosy tube. Side to side. Mm. Isn't this a gorgeous shade? It just makes me want to use that shade of pink more that I think looks really fresh and fun, but I haven't been wearing a lot of lately. But mm, I love that. I really, really adore these lip balms. They're so compact. They're so nice. Like you will continue using them. They're part of the regular line. If you fall in love with one of these, you can repurchase another. I just have absolutely nothing negative to say about this little set. Again, they all kind of have just the teeniest bit of like minty cooling, but it, it's subtle. I really enjoy those. So, okay, that's a thumbs up, two thumbs up. Okay, here's the other one that I really like. And this, this surprised me. From Winky Lux, this is a brand you haven't heard me talk about much, but they've got this dessert bar set. It's coming in right under the mark at $29. And they've got these balms that have like strips of color in them. You see that? They're cute. They look like this. Okay, you can stand them up, but they're fully rounded elsewhere. And there's a certain sequence I need to try these on in, because there's one in particular that really, I feel like stains the lips. But here's this gold one, and it's got your three strips of color. And yes, there's even an olive freaking green on there. This is the Affogato Balm. It says Sheer Nude Tint. And it does smell just a little bit like coffee, and I love it. It's the most beautiful coffee scent. I'm a little congested this morning, as I am a lot of mornings, but I mean, oh, so beautiful. Now I'm gonna put this on. 
and behold, it's not going to look olive, but it is going to look like a deep nude. In texture compared to the Kosas ones I just put on, these are just have a little more slip to them, a bit more thinness, but still really moisturizing. And I think that shade's actually turning out to be really pretty. I'm fascinated by the fact that, you know, there's a strip of like brown and cream and then olive, but man, is that a pretty shade or what? And the scent, oh, the scents are an experience in themselves with these. So I love the scent of that. That's my favorite smell. Okay, didn't take that one off. Alrighty, then we have the Neapolitan and they call this a sheer pink tint. So that's your one with the pink cap. So this is what they look like all together. There's a gold tube, a pink and gold, and then a rose gold. So in the pink and gold, you've got your Neapolitan ice cream there. Yep, and you're gonna think, hmm, is this really doing anything? This is like one of those self-adjusting sort of pinky stain type colors, you know, like It Cosmetics Je ne sais quoi. Get that all over the lips and then watch what happens. We're going to get like a very natural kind of coming from within pinky look to the lips. Are you seeing that? Yeah, the color does stain slightly. It doesn't show up like in a profound way all day. If you were to keep reapplying, I'm sure you'd feel that way, but on its own, you know, it's not like ultra long wear. It's a lip balm, but it is doing that kind of stainy thing. If you were to swatch it on your hand, you would watch it not just be clear, but develop this pinky color, okay? So that's kind of cool, and it has just this perfectly sweet scent. And lastly, we have the Sorbet Balm, which they call Sheer Berry Pink Tint. And this would be the most colorful one. That's why I had to do these in order. So my most colorful would go on last. But you see what even remains on my lips after I wiped off that last one? So here's the Sorbet, and look at this. It's got like purple and orange and pink. Let's pop it on. This has a little less light feel. It feels more like I'm putting on a cream lipstick compared to the other two that felt more balmy and a little bit more thin. And look at all that color, you know, a little bit louder, a little more fun. I dig it, you know, I would totally 100% wear it. But these are just so unique. I feel like you could give this set to a person who uh, really loves makeup, really knows a lot about makeup, and they could still be like, what the heck? You know, it's fun. It's fun to discover something new like this. The little box is even cute. Um, they just kind of sit down there in those little holes. It says, dessert bar features a delectable trio of our most loved tri-colored tinted balms. So these are most loved. These have been out there in their collection. People know about these. Each balm is infused with jojoba oil and vitamin E for nourished lips with a sweet kiss of color. So again, you're getting that nude shade, that really natural pink, and then a little bit brighter pink. I think it's so much fun. Okay, I'm taking my hair down. So much fun. Again, two lip balm sets, the one from Kosas, the one from Winky Lux that I think are both awesome and really fun. Um, the Kosas one is maybe a little more practical, but gosh, I can't take my mind off of the coffee scent of that one, that first one from the Winky Lux that I tried on those. So Oh, nice. And then we've got those mini palettes from Too Faced. You know, we got Secret Santa and the hot cocoa one called You're So Hot. There you go. Um, both are decent palettes. This one's pretty common. This one's really nicely balanced and pretty, but still may seem a little common to some people in their collections. And the best value, this $20 Wishing You palette from Sephora. Again, so many options in here. Such great quality across the board. Nothing to complain about. Um, I love that you can get the bluish vibe. You can get berry. You can get neutral. You can get smoky. For 16 shades, I mean, that's not a massive palette, but there's a lot you can do with this. So there's still quite a bit of time before Christmas rolls around, so I may still continue to come up with more under $30 picks. I mean, I'll probably come up with some under $20 picks. But for now, I thought I'd go ahead and share my mini reviews on these five items with you. And yeah, I hope it was informative. Thank you so much for your time as always, and I will see you again soon. I love you. Bye.